So let's talk about natural gas basics in a rush. Now then we can go on to explain the strategies in trading natural gas futures. Natural gas is a naturally occurring hydrocarbon gas. It contains mainly methane. Uh, it is a non-renewable form of energy. Main uses include cooking, heating, electricity, fuel for vehicles and so on. And the price drivers for natural gas usually are international natural gas inventory data, US weather conditions, uh, European weather conditions, uh, price of crude oil, uh, demand for natural gas and geopolitical situations. These are the few guidelines in trading commodities, especially natural gas. Commodities are internationally priced, hence carries more risk than domestic equity financial instruments. Overnight position can carry more risk than domestic market equity instruments. Uh, market exposure in this commodity instrument should be limited to the risky part of your portfolio's capital share. Have a clear time settings with uh, US market timings and um, European market timings and should have a, um, a proper trading plan and uh, you should stick to it. Make a habit of reading uh, about worldwide energy market and developments in it. Try to learn geopolitical issues and uh, develop a methodology on your own by observing and collecting various information from different sources. Uh, try to understand the leverage offering uh, by your broker before investing your money in commodities market. Strategy 1 Trading Natural Gas Storage Report Let's go through the basics. This report is released by US Energy Information Administration. This organization collects, analyzes, and disseminates independent and impartial information to promote sound policy making, efficient market, and public understanding of energy and its interaction with economy and the environment. The stock of natural gas is expressed in BCF. Uh, BCF stands for billion cubic feet and the report is usually released at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on every Thursday. If Thursday is a holiday, then on a day before that. Now, from where you can get this report, uh, the easiest is to Google uh, this simple keyword natural gas storage report and uh, it will usually show up either the EAA website or investing.com website. There are so many other websites which uh, showcases this data. But uh, uh, I personally prefer you go with investing.com. It is very easier to understand. Uh, I will link a part of the website. And uh, regarding EAA website, uh, the report is literally uh, cubersum. Uh, I don't know whether all that information could be useful for you as a retail trader. Um, on a larger scale it may be useful but for a retail trader I don't think it could be useful. So go with the investing.com's uh, natural gas storage report. It, it is pretty much easier to understand. In repeating the report, uh, to understand uh, simply, it portrays about natural gas storage estimate. It is estimated weekly, so when it is changed, it in its simple form means withdrawals or injections to the storage. There will be three points to be taken down uh, in every report, uh, that is uh, the three are actual, forecast and previous. So the analysis should be based on these values. This report can influence the price of the natural gas immediately upon the release. For example, there are two situations. The main analysis is done between actual and forecast. In situation 1, if actual is more than the forecast, it means weaker demand, the price tends to go down. Bigger actual and smaller forecast means price of natural gas goes down. In the example, you can see that actual is 2 and forecast is 1. And in situation 2, if the actual is less than the forecast, it means higher demand and lesser supply. The price of the natural gas tends to go up. Here, smaller actual and bigger forecast means price of natural gas goes up. In the example, you can see that actual is 1 and forecast is 2. Though this is not a perfect price prediction on all time, it does have a price influence based on the previous data or historical data. Historically, this is tested to be true with lower number of failures in price prediction.
trading setups under the strategy this should be applied after the report uh, comes out in market uh, based on the impact uh, the report creates we can create the position impact uh, if the price is expected to go down uh, the position should be short natural gas future and entry should be within one hour from the report and exit should be uh, one hour to two days and if the uh, impact is uh, the price goes up in natural gas then the position you should take is long in natural gas future uh, the entry should be within one hour from the report the exit also should be one hour to uh, you can wait up to two days and there are times when the report doesn't show any uh, direction uh, then we can call it an in indifferent situation and uh, during those time uh, there is no position and entry and exit is not applicable and why this storage report is important us is one of the major consumers of natural gas in the world and interdependence on this particular data and price has uh, significant importance so for a trader it also influence uh, canadian dollar price uh, since uh, their uh, this energy is one of their primary products of exports uh, looney and uh, looney means uh, canadian dollar uh, looney and oil prices are positively correlated So as a final note, if you are trading natural gas futures on storage report time, uh, in Indian context it comes at uh, Thursdays 9 p.m. It works similarly in other markets as well. You can use EST 10:30 a.m. as a reference. Mm. Further explanation is based on Indian Standard Time. Since the report comes on Thursday, uh, through the, uh, throughout the day the price of the natural gas uh, futures tend to be very volatile, especially uh, current bond futures. with the introduction of option chains on natural gas futures uh, in india uh, it will help you to queue in the direction before the uh, report comes you can uh, learn about option chain in the, in the description if the queue you derived from the option chain is in align with the direction of the queue you got from the storage report analysis then you can confidently trade if otherwise you can use it as an additional measure of risk management now to the nuances of taking the position after the report comes next couple of minutes till maybe uh, another 22 30 minutes market will be very volatile so try to make your position after the uh, this volatility ends because price tends to travel in the direction of the report queue uh, within an hour uh, or two days uh, time so this strategy uh, with this strategy you may have to wait for some uh, wait for some time to see results but immediately creating a position after the report comes can hurt your capital since the volatility right after the report is mostly uh, most of the time is pretty huge and uh, unpredictable so wait for some time and then make your entry based on the queue and wait for exit now if you want to make some high risk trades uh, then you can take the position 5 um, minutes before the report and close uh, close it uh, in the initial volatile period uh, for example if you can take the position uh, at 8:55 pm and close it by 9:10 or 9:20 pm uh, uh, this can be a high risk trade uh, but in this scenario you should have a solid reason for your convictions on the direction else uh, it can uh, it can be uh, turn out to be a pure gamble and hurt your capital very bad